What's up guys, Coach Jeremy here. In this video, I'm gonna be building a backyard rink. Now I've shown you how to build backyard rinks in previous videos, but in this one I have a new system. I've got the Easy Ice Rink system, which is supposed to be a lot easier to set up. So I'm gonna be testing that out. I'll be building a 20 by 40 rink, which is basically what you wanna start with. If you have younger kids, it's enough size, but if you wanna play you know, three on three with some adults, not gonna be quite big enough. That is going to set you back about $1,900. Of course, there are cheaper alternatives, so let's do a quick little rundown on what else you can do if you don't wanna drop $1,900 on a full package, and then we'll start building this rink. The first thing you need if you wanna build a backyard rink is a yard that is flat and level. So this is flat, but this is flat and level, and that's very important. If your yard slopes too much, you're gonna have all the liner showing on one side and all the ice on the other side. So do a quick measurement to make sure. My yard is neither. It slopes to one side and is bumpy, but I found a spot that I think it's gonna work, and because I got the ring for free, I'm just gonna throw it there. But if you're dropping money, check your yard first. The second thing you need for a backyard rink is water, and a lot of it. If you're on a well, make sure you don't run it dry. If you're on township water, it will cost you to fill that. And if you don't have easy access to water, you can always call in a tanker truck that can come in and fill it up. That'll cost you as well, but you gotta get that thing filled up. Also, it's nice to have water close by so you can keep on flooding it and get it nice and smooth. Third thing you need for a backyard rink is cold weather and consistent cold weather. Basically, you don't need the brackets, the boards, all that stuff if you live far enough north. Pretty much Manitoba, then you're good. Anywhere further south, you pretty much want to get the boards, you want to get the liner, you want to get the brackets, because what's going to happen is it's going to get cold, you're going to get that ice in there, then it's going to get warm, it's all going to go away, and then you got to rebuild it all. So if you have the brackets, the boards, the liner, if it thaws, all the water is going to stay there, it's going to freeze again, and you're skating again much nicer that way. So that's it for what you can do if you don't want to buy one of these packages, but I've got one. Let's set it up, and we'll see if it really is as easy as they say. Let's go. Here's what a 20 by 40 rink looks like. came on a skid, and apparently they do free delivery, so that's pretty sweet. It doesn't come with the mini net and the broken hockey sticks. Old well, Lang Skate should do it. Oh, they're not very sharp, that's for sure. Yes. So it's 3.13 right now. We'll see if we can get this up in 45 minutes. Cause I gotta be on the ice and coaching. What makes this different from other systems is that there's no spikes on it. So you don't have to drive anything into the ground. That means you could put this on your driveway. You could put it on a sport court, tennis court. Uh, if the ground's frozen, which is often the case if you're too late to put your stuff up, you can still put your rink in. So you can wait a little bit longer before you put this in. Uh, boards go right in there. What it uses is this clip system. I'll show you more about that later. Okay, let's see. Oh, yep. Yeah. yeah, those are heavy. Where's Ken when you need him? I was expecting him to come into the woods there. All right, let's go. Like that, it's got a nice little handle. Pretty easy to carry around. This is going to drop into that other side and then it can pivot a little bit so you've got some room to move. Brackets, boards, liner, what I'm gonna do now is just put everything all around so the basic shape, then start setting up. How long is each board? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five by my exact measurements, so five feet, so I'm gonna need eight there, eight there, four there, four there. Definitely easy to carry these things, it's always nice. This is the inward facing side, it's nice and smooth. The one for the outside is uh, kind of got these bumps in it. And this one shows you where the minimum fill line and the maximum fill line is. There's the basic layout right there. As you can tell, it's not exactly straight. Uh, what you're supposed to do is stake a corner there, 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 and then measure so it's exactly 20, exactly 40, 20, 40, and square. But this is called easy ice, so I'm trying to do it the easy, simple way. We'll see if I can make this work. Let's put the brackets down. Guessing that's where that should go. Oh, yeah. Okay, we got one, two, three set up. It is uh, 3.39. I gotta be out of here in 20 minutes. Let's see how many I can do in that time. I don't know if I have enough brackets. So 28. So I got 28 brackets. We're gonna go one bracket for every joint. I need my blue pieces. Definitely is easy to put these brackets in. It's like if you forget something, you can just lift the boards up and 
I'm gonna double check on if I'm doing this properly. The guys did a, a video where they built a rink, I think a 20 by 40 in like five minutes. So I'll just scrub through that quickly and see how they did their brackets. But this is just flying along much faster if you only use one bracket. I'm gonna shove this rink a little this way. 347, looks like we're gonna make it. There's an example of a not flat yard. There's a big bump right there, causing this one to be quite a few inches higher. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Putting in the final piece and, oh, oh yeah. Okay, so this is where making sure that your lot is square, right? So I didn't square it out first. We've got some extra space here, but I'm just gonna shove that side that way. Shove, we'll, we'll make it work. We'll make it work, guys. Easy. It's easy. Yeah, this is, this is my type of rain crate. <laughs> Oh. Easy ice. Check the old 356. I got a few minutes to spare, get cleaned up and get on the ice for 430. Well, there it is. That was easy. I mean, we got a little snafu right there. I'll get a shovel, sort that out. There you go. One person, one hour, got yourself the ring set up. Oh, and remember, I still have to put that webbing down there. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, enjoy some drone footage. I was at the rink, I did a little bit of thinking and I decided I'm gonna make some changes to my rink setup, but it requires a sledgehammer, so I just came over to my brother's place. Ryan, you got a sledgehammer? Uh, I think so. I got this, an axe. Yeah, that'll do. There you go. So this is my brother. I figured he must have a sledgehammer because he built his own house. So five second tour, he cleared the lot with the backhoe, uh, dug the foundation, leveled it, did all sort of like the pre-landscaping. Pretty much put everything up himself. He's just working on the garage right now. Oh, I helped do the foundation. That's the one piece that I helped. Yeah, I put a few trusses up. Cultured stone, he made that himself. This is the master workshop. So you should just be building a backyard rink for me. You want to take this pile of wood? <laughs> have it. It's in my if, way. If you turn it into a uh, covered rink, then I'll take it. So when I'm making YouTube videos, he's making a house. <laughs> We're both building something. You put a nail in it so the head stays on? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if the head will stay on this one. Here's one quick swing. Oh, welcome back. Let me show you what I did. This is the Franken rink. We'll talk about that later, but I made a few changes to the Easy Ice rink. My septic tank is right there, so I had to shrink the rink a little bit. That creates warmth that's gonna melt the ice. Also shouldn't put heavy things on top of the septic tank or the weeping bed, which is over there. So ice rink is right here. That means it's going to be 20 feet by 30 feet. It was really easy to take this down, shrink it, move it all around. I installed the straps as well. Really easy to do this. You just clip them in pull them tight and you're done. This is done. The only thing we have to do is put the liner in and fill it, but you wanna put the liner in just before you fill. You don't want sticks in there and you don't want the wind blowing it into the woods. So liner stays out until we're gonna fill it, which is when it gets cold. Now let's talk about the Franken rink. Because I shrunk my original rink, I had extra boards left over. So I thought, hey, why not do the mini rink again? Last year I made it with just two by fours. I wanted to make it a little bit bigger, 10 feet by 10 feet. So I used these boards here and then had to finish it up with the plywood. Let me tell you, setting these boards up is way easier than setting up those boards. Which brings me to the pros and cons of a do-it-yourself rink. Pretty much the only advantage is that it's cheaper. I'd say on the low end, you could probably do a 20 by 40 ring for say $250 and on the high end, it might cost you about a thousand. All depends on how many materials you need, depending on how flat your yard is. You're gonna spend more initially on a rink like this, but over the years, you save so much time. Every time you set it up, every time you take it down, every time you put it away, uh, the quality and consistency is always gonna stay. I'm not exactly a do-it-yourselfer. It just drove some stakes into the ground, but it's just not the same quality, I guess. Here you might worry about the uh, weight of the water being too much and collapsing those boards or having your rink fall over. Something like this should be a lot more sturdy, but I'll test it this winter and see how well it actually holds up. And the other thing is the resale value. After 10 years, no one's gonna wanna buy some old plywood and stakes, but something like this after 10 years, you could probably flip it and uh, probably get a decent penny for it. It's gonna be more durable and overall just give you a much better skating experience every single season. Uh, so definitely do recommend it so far. I haven't skated on it yet and that is a big test, but setting it up, it was awesome. 
If you want to grab the Easy Ice Backyard Rink, I have a coupon code. It's How to Hockey. So you put that in, you're going to save some money. They gave that to me to pass on to you guys. I'll put a link in the video description and in the first comment so you guys can easily click through. And of course, it's an affiliate link. So if you guys buy, you're supporting me and helping me make more great hockey videos. That's it for this one. Thanks a lot. And if you have this system, let me know how you like it in the comment section. Thanks a lot for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.